welcome back to my channel. I'm Jordan and welcome back to another Jordan video. So we are in my kitchen right now as you can see and the reason we are here is because we are doing another TikTok hack trying video but this time it is going to be food hacks. Before we get started, make sure you follow me on TikTok. It's at JordanMc40. It should be like down here somewhere. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first TikTok hack is going to be about this Sprite and Skittles. So let's find out. That's it. I don't know what it does. Maybe it makes it taste cool. So let's try. Boop. Okay, I think that's a. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I must be ready for that. <laughs> it's definitely turning it like a different color. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's getting like orangey and it looks kind of nasty. It looks like mud water. It's time for the taste test. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Okay, nope. No wonder he didn't try it in the video because it would've exploded all over the place. It does have a little extra flavor, but it's not that much like Flavor. It mostly just tastes like Sprite to me. So this next TikTok is about a Starbucks drink that is supposedly supposed to take like taste like Starburst. So let's watch it. And there it is, folks. So it's supposed to taste like that. I like a Starburst, so let's order it. And then we have some Starburst for comparison. This is what is in it. Looks super good. So let's give it a taste. You ready? I don't know if I would say it tastes like a Starburst, but it tastes kind of like a candy. It tastes really good. I don't know, no. I don't think it tastes like a Starburst. But it does taste nice. taste like the same thing okay so for this next tiktok hack it is combining two different like what two of my favorite things cookies and cinnamon rolls let's see how this turns out <laughs> delicious but also very 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 sweet so the oven is preheating right now to 350 so we are going to get started first we gotta do this p a m butter flavor Okay, so make sure you guys stay to the end to see how our cinnamon roll cookies turned out. But in the meantime, let's move on to the next hack. So this one is how to make your cereal taste better. And guess what? 
Drop the mic. I already used to do this when I was running low on milk. I would just put a little bit of my mom's creamer in to like fill up the needed milk. And it did taste very good. So let's just try it with the cereal. No different, just looks like cereal. But the taste... Mm -hmm. It tastes like way sweeter and way better. More vanilla -y. More vanilla -y. More vanilla -y. Now this hack is to make a mug cookie, cookie cake. Mug cookie cake. <laughs> types of cookies because I don't really like Oreos or that much chocolate a lot so I didn't think I would like the Oreo one so I got Chips Ahoy but and the golden Oreo pie so she did four Oreos four Oreos Them. wow interrupt me so let's check to see if it's done and no, the top cookie definitely looks very raw. So let's give it about mm, five, five more minutes. I think it's good. Good paste. So. I'm gonna go on to the Chips Ahoy and add four cookies again. Smash my cookies. <laughs> So, I'm mixing this one and I, it just looks really weird and nasty looking, but I'm sure it tastes good. It just doesn't look good right now. So, she put it in for one minute, so I'm just going to plop this in for a minute. Bon appetit! So after a minute, dun, 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 dun. ew. Okay, so this is clearly not done. You can still see the milk. So maybe 30 more seconds, I think should be good. Mm -hmm. All of our stuff is in cooking at the time we first set them. Okay, now it should be bon appetit. Cha, 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 cha. like a vanilla cake. Like it smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna do 30 more seconds because they're still like really soggy. Now it's a be one of the last and final straw. Hopefully this is bon appetit. Oh my goodness. You know what, I'm done with this one. Let's just pop the other one in and just leave this one aside until we taste. Can't put the spoon in there. I think that's a health hazard. A minute for this one, and then if it's not cooked, I guess do the same thing we did for the last one. Now while this is going, let's check on this. So the top looks really raw. Um, still, not like really raw, but okay. The bottom I see is getting like a little, a little too hot, a little too spicy. So what should we do to solve this problem, you ask? Well, I don't know, I don't have the answer. Oh, caught me off guard. <laughs> okay, and this one, okay, this one did not cook at all. It just like, it didn't even do anything, so. 30 seconds. Um, actually, let's just do a minute because that one didn't cook in 30 seconds, so I don't think this one will. So, back in the big house. So, now we're going to do the toothpick test with these, and if nothing comes out, we'll just take them out. This is what it looks like on that one, and 
This one was clean. So I think we should can take them out. Time to check on our mug cake. This is what it looks like. I think it's done. I think this is good. It doesn't smell as good like that. It smells like hot cocoa! Time to take some mud cake. I'm gonna taste this one first because it's been sitting out so it got cool. have a consistency of a cake and it really just tasted like a very soggy Oreo like it just tasted like a soggy Oreo and it wasn't that good I did not like it at all so yeah That one doesn't really have any flavor to it. Like, it doesn't really taste like anything. It just has like a weird texture in your mouth. It's kind of rubbery too. So this is our beauty right here. Okay, man. Gotta cut it. Very sugary. This looks really good. Got cookie in the mix, sauce in the mix, cinnamon in the mix. Mmm! This is good! Wait, this is really good. I like the like softness of the cinnamon and then the crunch of the cookie. And then if you put the cinnamon roll sauce on top, or the frosting on top, it's really good. Oh, I got a lot. This is delicious. Okay, so those are all the Tic Tac hacks for today. I was going to do a few more, but the video was already pretty long, and it was just going to be a really long video if I did that. So there will be a part two if you guys enjoy this video. So make sure to give a big thumbs up if you guys do enjoy this so I know if you want a part two or not. But yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. All that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Also, if you do any of these hacks, make sure to have an adult with you. The ones that require heat in the oven. And make sure your parents let you, you know, use the stuff in the kitchen. And you're not just sneaking. Okay, be safe. Bye, I love you.